This review is for the Hobby King Digital Sound Meter. See that? Digital Sound Level Meter, I should say. And uh, it comes in this attractive bubble pack. Yeah, rah rah. Which is easy to open, fortunately. And inside you get some instructions. If all else fails, you can read those. And you get your little sound meter. Now you also get a little 9 volt battery which comes in the back here, but I've already installed it because I've already had a play with it. And this is the unit itself. See that? Looks fairly straightforward. There's only two buttons, off, on, and this is peak lock. So basically, if you press that, it will just register the highest reading and show you what the maximum sound level was. It's got this little fluffy foam thing here, which is removable, so you can take that off. But if there's any wind, you really want to use that little foam sock because it stops wind noise affecting your readings to quite the same degree. Now, it has a nice big bright display. Let me turn it on for you. Look at that big writing. See that? And as I talk, the sound goes up. And then it drops down when I'm quiet. Isn't that silence lovely? It also has a backlight. I can probably try and show you that. If I cover this up, see that? There's a little sensor there where my finger is, and that turns the backlight up and down depending on how bright the light is. Already so you don't waste battery in the daytime when you don't need a backlight. That's a nice feature, isn't it? And as I say, I'll show you how the Max works. Turning on the Max now. Stuck at 61. If I stuck it, see as I speak and it goes up, it doesn't drop down again. If I shout loudly, it'll go well above that. See, 80. Hello! Ooh, 91. Aren't I loud? So there you go. And if you click it again, it goes back to normal sort of continuous mode. That's it. There's not really a lot else to say about it, is it? But it is. It's a heavy little thing. It feels quite firmly engineered. You won't twist that case or anything. Um, as I say, DBC rating is all it, DBA, sorry, is all it has. Uh, although I noticed the LCD's got DBC on it, but it doesn't work in this. This is just the budget, the super budget version. So that's the device. Let's go and measure some stuff and see what sort of sound levels we get. Right, the first thing we'll do is establish some an ambient noise level here. So I'll just turn it on. I won't say anything. You can see what the ambient noise is. Here we go. It's about 40 decibels. It goes right up when I talk, of course. 40 decibels ambient noise. And let's see how much noise you make with a quad rotor, a quad rotor with big slow turning props. Now, of course, a key thing when you're measuring noise is distance. So this uh, multi rotor is two meters away from where I'm standing. That, no, that will enable us to. We'll use that as a base, a reference, is that two meter distance. And now I'll just spool it up with the sound meter on so we can see what happens. This is a bit hard. I've got to have three hands to do this, so bear with me. So there we go, that was about 60 decibels just with the fans, the props running. And uh, I'll try and uh, do some flying around with the, the meter in view and we'll see if we can, oh, might be a bit hard, but I'll see what I can do. Right, I'm gonna, I've set the sound meter to, to max, so it'll hold the max because I can't get it in front of the camera and fly at the same time, but I've put it on the ground, I've set it to max uh, reading, so we'll fly around a bit and we'll see what the maximum noise level from the quad is. I'll just try and keep it fairly close here at the two meter distance. Okay, that was 64 and my speak my talking is louder than that see went to 64 maximum while i was doing that little bit of hovering around it's nothing really 64 decibels nothing at all we need something louder so what about a typical nitro motor this is a thunder tiger 46 with a 12 by 4 prop on a mojo 40. let's see how much noise this little baby kicks out at two meters
and of course no test would be complete without the AXN. Let's see what the AXN does. <laughs> Eighty-three. That might seem like not a lot less than the ninety something that the nitro motor kicked up, but this is a logarithmic scale, so it's actually a lot quieter. So what do I think of this Hobby King digital? Well, not digital. It says digital, but I guess it's got a digital display. But the, the Hobby King sound level meter. What do I think of it? Well, I've got to say it's nicely made. It's solid. I like it. It just feels really, really nice in your hand. Not that that matters much, because ultimately it boils down to does it work? And yes, it does. It will tell you how loud things are. Maybe not totally accurately. I don't have any lab grade equipment to compare the calibration to and I don't suspect it's calibrated particularly accurately. It's made with relatively cheap components. It's not going to be something that you'd use for measuring down to the nearest, you know, half a decibel. But it gives you a relative indication of what's loud and what's not. So if you've got noise problems in your club, you can get one of these and settle the arguments. You can draw a line in the sand and say nothing will be louder than this at so many metres and this will check it, measure it and verify that stuff is too quiet well, not too quiet, but too loud or acceptable. So there you go. Um, at this price, grab one, stick it in your box. Your club should buy one just to settle the arguments. And who knows if the neighbours are having a party, maybe you could just, uh, when you ring the noise control people at half past three in the morning because your eyes are bleeding and your ears are starting to ring, you can tell them exactly how loud those neighbours are. There you go. That's the Hobby King digital sound meter. I'd say it's good. Quite good.